I am absolutely convinced that the main source of hatred in the world is religion. And I think it should be treated with ridicule and hatred and contempt. And I claim that right. You're better off thinking for yourself and taking all the risks and, I might add, all the pleasures that will come from that. The most overrated of the virtues is faith. It would have to mean that the designer of this plan was unbelievably lazy and inept or unbelievably callous and cruel and indifferent and capricious. And that is the case with every argument for design and every argument for revelation and intervention that has ever been made. Don't be loving mine. My enemies are the theocratic fascists. I, I don't love them. I want to destroy them. Now, I'll tell you something. If I was told to sacrifice them to prove my devotion to God, if I was told to do what all monotheists are told to do and admire the man who said, yes, I'll gut my kid to show my love of God, I'd say, no, fuck you. Religion forces nice people to do unkind things and also makes intelligent people say, Stupid things. You give me the awful impression, of, I hate to have to say it, of someone who hasn't read any of the arguments against your position ever. You're a child made in the image of God. Oh, no, you're not. You're a faggot. And you can't join your church and you can't go to heaven. This is disgraceful. It's inhuman. It's obscene. And it comes from a clutch of hysterical, sinister virgins who've already betrayed their charge in the children of their own church. I know what's coming. I know no one beats these odds. And it's a matter of getting used to that and growing up and realizing that you're expelled from your mother's uterus as if shot from a cannon towards a barn door studded with old nail files and rusty hooks. It's a matter of how you use up the intervening time in an intelligent and ironic way. It will happen to all of us that at some point you get tapped on the shoulder and told not just that the party's over, but slightly worse, the party's going on but you have to leave. <laughs> and, it's, and it's going on without you. That's, that's, the, that's the reflection I think that most upsets people about their demise. To me, the offer of certainty, the offer of complete security, the offer of an impermeable faith, that can't give way is an offer of something not worth having. I want to live my life taking the risk all the time that I don't know anything like enough yet, that I haven't understood enough, that I can't know enough, that I'm always hungrily operating on the, on the margins of, of a potentially great harvest of future knowledge and wisdom. I wouldn't have it any other way. And I'd urge you to look at those of you who tell you those people who tell you at your age that you're dead till you believe as they do. Don't think of that as a gift. Think of it as a, think of it as a poison chalice. Push it aside, however tempting it is. Take the risk of thinking for yourself. Much more happiness, truth, beauty, and wisdom will come to you that way. Thank you.